Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV. Whiskey One, Good Vibrations. I'm going to describe for you my two SWR meter scheme that I use with my antenna here at home. Um, the transceiver is an ICOM IC746 Pro, but uh, it could be any transceiver with an internal tuner and an internal SWR meter. Uh, the external SWR meter is just your ordinary SWR meter, uh, I believe I got it at Radio Shack, as a matter of fact. But it, uh, when it existed, that is. And um, it's in the line between the transceiver and my antenna. Now, my particular antenna is a 20 meter vertical. That is to say, a vertical antenna designed for the 14 megahertz band. Actually it's uh, 22 feet high with a 50 picofarad capacitor in series at the base to make it resonate at 14 megahertz and it it has an actual SWR as indicated by the external meter of approximately 1.5 to 1 when it's properly connected and there aren't any breaks or shorts or other disturbances in the antenna system or the feed line to the antenna system. And that's one way I can tell whether or not there's anything wrong with this antenna and whether there's any kind of feed line break or maybe even a bad uh, BNC connector which I use to connect the connect and disconnect the antenna from the radio. If there's any kind of a disruption the standing wave ratio will indicate something much different than this. On other bands say 15, uh, 12, 17, 10 meters the SWR is much much higher in some cases more than 3 to 1. Uh, and I believe uh, there are a couple of bands where it's, where it's as high as 5 to 1 or so, as indicated by this meter. Now there's a short length of 52 ohm coax between the external SWR meter and the transceiver, which has an automatic antenna tuner and an internal SWR meter, which is a bar graph type meter. Now this, uh, the, the SWR on this meter will change depending on the adjustment of the internal tuner in this transceiver. But I can bring that down to nearly a perfect match, essentially a perfect one-to-one -one match on all bands from 10 all the way up through 50 megahertz. All ham bands I can get a perfect match here but only on 20 meters, 14 megahertz, uh, can I get a, the 1.5 to 1 because that is the band that this antenna is actually designed for or cut for. Nevertheless I use this radio on all these bands from 10 through 50 megahertz. I force feed it because the tuner in here will handle that uh, the SWR that and the impedance mismatch that occurs on all bands down to 10 megahertz with this antenna. Now below 10 megahertz it will not contend with it. It cannot uh, make a, a, a match for this. 80 and 60 and 40 and 160 meters are out of the question with this, with this antenna. I run on CW 7 watts.
no, pardon me, 10 watts CW, 7 watts PSK 31. Uh, I'm a sort of a quasi or near QRP operator. I believe tr true QRP calls for 5 watts output or less, but it's pretty close. Uh, and I've never had any complaints from neighbors, as I've explained in other videos, because of this, and never had any RFI to any of my home appliances either. But that's why I have two meters. I want to know what the real SWR is, what the true SWR on this line actually is. Uh, primarily because it will detect some, when something's gone wrong with the antenna. There's a short or a break uh, or something has fallen against the antenna or maybe I have even failed to put it into its telescoping. Um, I don't believe I've ever done that. I don't believe I've ever tried to use the antenna when it wasn't up. I've described this antenna, a vertical uh, that I can take down easily in other videos. But the transceiver will not indicate such m malfunction. As long as it gets a, what appears to be a perfect match, this uh, a malfunction could very well exist here. And this would not be 1.5 to 1 on 20 meters. And I'd never know it. That's why the external meter. I want to know the truth and I want to know the modified truth. The internal truth and the external truth both. And in such a way, my antenna system has been force-fed, uh, particularly on the bands above 14 megahertz, to work s quite a lot of DX, even despite this s high standing wave ratio that can get upwards of 5 to 1 on, say, 24 megahertz. Or, um, is, that, is that one of those bands? I'm forgetting them now. 18 megahertz, t uh, 24 megahertz, uh, those bands, 21 megahertz, of course. Um, 10 megahertz is a bit of a stretch because it's below the quarter wave resonant frequency of the antenna, and, and that's where you run into difficulty with antenna efficiency. It, it just doesn't seem to do very well on, those ban on that band. But all the others, uh, but of course, it does best on its design band, 20 meters. Stan Gibalisco signing off, saying 73. And so long, which on CW, which is what I always use, hardly ever use PSK. So long translates to Da-da-da-da-da-da.